Hey guys, welcome back to my quick tip normally on Tuesdays, but um, with this new spring weather coming out, I probably will not be able to keep up with the schedule for that. You know, work comes first. Um, I do have a quick tip for you guys today, and this is probably a tip most veterans already know, but going into spring, you're going to probably run into some of this, uh, some of these windows and, um, these kind of become an issue when you're trying to get like really dirty, um, windows clean. Now the windows I'm talking about are, uh, tinted windows and tinted windows tend to be kind of the bane of our <laughs> industry. Cause they're just, they're so fragile and there's just so much that can go into it and so much that you could do to completely, you know, F up the, uh, tint on that glass. So if you do ever come across a window that is a tinted window, first you want to inspect it. You want to see and document any previous damage because a lot of these tinted windows are either self-installed by the owner or somebody just going with a cheap service. You'll get a bubbling kind of effect on the uh, windows. I've seen all kinds of, uh, you know, degrees of damage and the most common tends to be bubbling uh, tint from just heat and exposure to the sun and, you know, just overall bad uh, installation. So if you do come across a tinted window, and sometimes you won't always know that the glass is tinted if it's um, an internal tint, you always want to check the corner of the glass and check to see if it's an E, a low E glass, which has a little bit of tint in it. There, it's also a very soft glass. You also want to ask the owner if they know if their glass has any tint in it. Um, you can also tell if the glass is tinted by, um, there's one of two ways you can do it. You can uh, go to the glass store, uh, your local glass store, and pick up a sample if they have any available um, of regular glass, and you can use that to hold up against um, glass when you're going out to do inspections. And if it is a darker uh, shade, then that mo most likely is tinted. The other way you could do it um, is to feel the glass. Sometimes it'll feel a little um, uh, kind of tacky. Almost it has sort of a little bit of a resistance, almost a plastic feel for the really thick ones. Um, so when you do come across that and you do have to clean the windows and now with COVID, everybody has signs in the windows and they're not always thinking about, you know, the safety of their window. They just want to get a sign up, obviously. Um, if you have to take any of those signs down, say they got to replace an old one, uh, the safest way to do that is to not, you do not want to use a razor on tinted glass. So what I would recommend is to use a plastic scraper. These are super cheap. I bought this one, um, you can see I bought that one at Ace. Um, you can fit it in your pocket. This one comes with, um, some replacement plastic pieces right here. Um, the downside is that they do come pretty tiny. This one's only oh, a couple inches big. So, you know, you're going to only be able to work in small spaces. The other way to remove um, stuff from tint is to use a non-acetone uh, adhesive remover. Uh, Goo Be Gone um, sells, or Goo Gone, sorry, Goo Gone sells a whole variety of their product of uh, adhesive removers and they do have one that you can find that is supposed to be tint safe and then you gotta read the bottle make sure it doesn't have acetone in it because that's what's used to remove tint um yeah so going into the spring um it's a good idea right now to make sure you guys are prepped make sure you're ready to go uh you know 2020 was a crazy year, but we are going into this year and we're going to get it. We're going to kill it and we are going to be prepared, right? <laughs> All right. So that is just my tip and I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions or if you're a uh, veteran window cleaner with, you know, years of experience, please feel free to comment down below and be nice to each other down in the comments there. All right. Till next time. Bye.